The next 30 heads of the zone girdling the earth fall under the competence of the zodiacal sign of Aquarius, and their seals have to be drawn in violet color. Figure 325, Phrasis, 1 degree Aquarius, this head has taught mankind how to sharpen things. First man learned to sharpen his knives, axes, swords and all other weapons, then, as the time went on, he also learned how to cut stones and gems. The instrument necessary for the sharpening and cutting, the whetstone, has reached its modern perfection due to inspiration by this head. Phrasis is the guardian of all people having to do with the art of cutting, sharpening and grinding. Figure 326, Pother, 2 degrees Aquarius, is a master of the art of war. This, of course, does not mean that he deludes mankind to start wars, quite the contrary. This head secures peace and teaches, by inspiration, how those attacked by an enemy can direct wars successfully. Pother is also the initiator into all means of protection against an enemy. He may rightly be regarded as a strategist in the art of war. Figure 327, but, 30 Aquarius, to inspire man with the creative power of imagination is the object of this head of the zone girdling the earth. The magician with too little imagination should address this intelligence, from whom he will get assistance in this respect. The methods but will entrust the magician with will give the latter a marvelous faculty of imagination and, apart from this, he will learn how to think in a creative manner and how to transpose certain thoughts into the akasha in order to realize the results he wants to see. Figure 328, Naga, 4 degrees Aquarius being an inspirer of poetry, this head will help the magician to acquire a good sense of judgment and the talent of composing. Since Naga prefers spiritual and psychic motives in poetry, the magician may be enabled, by following Naga's instructions, to express all spiritual problems in verse and poetry in an easy manner. Figure 329, Astral, 5 degrees Aquarius, represents divine mercy and, by his pleasant oscillation, makes everybody bear his lot more easily. He likes to help in all cases where assistance is possible without disturbing legality. The magician, too, may refer to this head for help for other people. Apart from this, astral makes the magician realize the borders of legality and mercy from the universal point of view. Figure 330, Lyriel, 6 degrees Aquarius is an original initiator into cosmic philosophy and teaches the magician the most various philosophies from the prime origin up to the present day. Being enabled by Liriel to look into the distant future, the magician learns about the philosophies of the days to come. The magician can, by the help of this intelligence, accumulate an intellectual knowledge of philosophies of an unimaginable depth. Figure 331, Sages, 7 degrees Aquarius. This head informs the magician of the various procedures for mummification which will stop the dissolving influence on the astral and the physical body. If the magician applies these procedures, he will stop getting old and will so evade the influence of his fate, for he is able to prolong his life for the period he wants to have it prolonged. Also, the magician who has mummified himself astrally and physically can never be taken ill. Following the instructions of this head, the magician will be able to experiment in many other matters. He can, for instance, make himself invulnerable against fire, water, poison, or he can live without food for many years, or remain young, energetic and resistant as long as he wants. Divine providence alone may decide on the life and death of such a magician. Figure 332, Mito C, 8 degrees Aquarius, manual skill comes under the domain of this head. He is responsible for skill in profession as well as in art. He influences all the manual work done by women, for instance, embroidering, knitting, crocheting, sewing, spinning, and all other work that needs a certain manual skill. The magician is given methods by this intelligence how to raise such talents which require precise manual skill. Figure 333, Abuses, 9 degrees Aquarius. This head assists all those people who seek the truth. Depending on their individual development, he causes the seekers to come into the environment of people initiated into spiritual knowledge. 
he even makes it possible for them to get into touch with a genuine guru-spiritual teacher, who then initiates them into the truths they long to learn about. Figure 334, Panfudra, 10 degrees Aquarius, can reveal to the magician the most secret methods for individual spiritual development. This head decides which secret method for the spiritual development is to be unveiled and made public to each individual seeker. Like many other heads, Panfudra, too, is an excellent initiator into true magic and is a custodian of the keys to the magic ballistic secrets. Figure 335, Pegasus, 11 degrees Aquarius. Besides many methods in magic which the magician may learn about from this head, he is also given exact information on mental, astral and physical radiation. Pegasus teaches the magician how to tell from the radiation emitted from a human being the degree of maturity of his mental and astral body. This head of the zone girdling the earth has in his hand special methods for the multifarious practical magical exploitation of these radiations, and he is quite prepared to tell the qualified magician about them. Figure 336, Hatani, 12 degrees Aquarius. During his wanderings through the zone girdling the earth or practicing evocation the magician certainly will not fail to get into contact with this head, this excellent initiator into quabalistic magic, for by him he will be told how to apply quabalistic magic in all three planes, the mental, astral and physical plane. Hatani has at his disposal L secret practices in quabalistic magic which so far he has revealed only to a few initiates. Figure 337, Gakulchen, 13 degrees Aquarius, is an inspirer of all explorers of nature on our earth. According to the development and maturity of mankind, he unveils successively the secrets of nature. The magician dealing with natural science will certainly want to get into contact with this head, who, by apartment means, will awake in the magician extraordinary genius in this respect. Figure 338, Baha, 14 degrees Aquarius, this head inspires writers writing on mysticism, occultism and spiritual science of any kind, gives them wonderful inspirations to bring to paper mysterious facts in poetry or beautiful verse. Also playwrights of mystical pieces will be assisted in their work by this intelligence. The magician who is also a writer will get many inspirations for his work from this head. Figure 339, Ugerpan, 15 degrees Aquarius, this head, who also is an excellent initiator into astrophysics, can inform the magician about astronomy and its influence on the mental, astral and physical planes. Ugerpan likes to tell a mature magician about the inhabitants of other planets, about their spiritual development and maturity, about their technical achievements, in short about everything which the magician considers worth knowing. Figure 340, Kapipa, 16 degrees Aquarius, is known as the custodian of wealth, riches and reputation. He and his servants are the custodians of all treasures situated under the earth, precious stones as well as the treasures hidden away by human hands. If the magician wants to become rich quickly, without the riches becoming a hindrance to his spiritual development, which fact can best be found out by the head himself who in this case would tell the magician about it, he can be sure that Kapipa will see that he acquires the desired riches. Figure 341, Kare, 17 degrees Aquarius, like many other heads, Kare, too, is an excellent initiator into quabalistic mysticism. Concerning the spiritualization of divine virtues in the mental, astral and physical world, he will make the magician acquainted with special methods, so that by following these methods the latter will be able to make use of all his acquired magical quabalistic faculties when helping other people. Figure 342, Somi, 18 degrees Aquarius, the magician can be initiated into many magical alchemical secrets, especially regarding the preparation of fluid condensers for different magical practices. If Somi considers the magician mature enough he, being an expert in the most secret sexual magic, the magic of love, will also teach the magician how to charge these condensers efficiently. In this respect the magician can be initiated into high mysteries by Somi, which so far, no doubt, have been completely unknown to him. Figure 343, 
Erita, 19 degrees Aquarius, is an excellent expert on and initiator into alchemy and electrophysics who introduces to the magician special procedures. For instance, how by the help of the electromagnetic fluid the electronic oscillation of metals can be changed at will and how, by this procedure, the original elements of the metal are changed. Erita teaches the magician how to make use of electrophysics in magic, so that the various effects are brought about not only in the physical, but also in the astral and in the mental plane. Figure 344, Kozerma, 20 degrees Aquarius, makes the magician acquainted with special curing methods for diseases which up to the present have been regarded as incurable. This head entrusts the magician with many recipes and the methods for the preparation of alchemical and spagyric medicines to cure all kinds of severe diseases and he also teaches him how, on top of that, to influence favorably these medicines by the help of the electromagnetic fluid and other ways of charges. The magician can get from this head, information on all secret alchemical curing methods. Figure 345 colon January. 21 degrees Aquarius, by this head the magician is informed about all kinds of protective means and protective measures against any negative influence, whether it comes from negative elementals, elementaries, beings of elements, beings of the zone girdling the earth, or from any other negative beings of any other sphere. This head can tell the magician all protective measures for the most different kinds of magic practice, evocation, etc where negative influences must be feared. Following the instruction given by this intelligence, the magician will also learn to make for his own use protective amulets, protective talismans, magic lightning conductors, etc. Figure 346, Altono, 22 degrees Aquarius, similar to Astral, the fifth head of this zodiacal sign, Altono, 2, decides about justice and injustice. He always sees that the magician is not wronged, no matter whether in court or with his fellow men. Altano also consoles all rightless people, all persecuted persons, innocent imprisoned men, etc. By force of his vibration he sees that these people get the blessings of benevolence and, by this, inner peace. He is, at the same time, a helper in difficult situations in a person's life. Figure 347, Chimegu. 23 degrees Aquarius, initiates the magician who is in contact with him into the mysteries of creation in respect of all planes and spheres. By this intelligence the magician learns to know thoroughly the Akasha principle, that is the principle of causes, and by this the mysteries of wisdom are unveiled to him. Figure 348, Arisali, 24 degrees Aquarius, being a perfect master of magical incarnation. This head awakens within the magician his understanding of the music of the spheres and teaches him how to express by music or song every idea, every thought. Following the methods given to him by Arisaka, the magician can develop an excellent ear for music. Figure 349, Borob, 25 degrees Aquarius, is known as the judge of the whole zone girdling the earth. His commission is to control strictly, by his subordinates the oaths taken by human beings on earth, no matter whether they are oaths taken before a court or whether they are oaths of loyalty, love, etc. It is by this head that the magician learns to understand fully what it means to take an oath, especially a magic oath, and what can be achieved by keeping a magic oath. Borab also tells the magician in which cases an oath may be broken without any karmic consequences for the magician and the magician will be instructed by him in many other things in this line. Figure 350, Sosma, 26 degrees Aquarius, is an expert in universal ritual magic and likes to reveal to magicians the secrets of all magical quabalistic rituals. By the help of this head of the zone girdling the earth the magician acquires the most genuine knowledge of individual rituals, the rituals of a whole society, and, furthermore, of those bound to a demi-urge, i.e. a personified god, or to a certain religious system, rituals which express the cosmic analogy, which indicate that they are of the universal origin, and so forth. If, for a special reason, the magician needs a suitable ritual, he only has to contact this intelligence. Figure 351, 
Ebaran, 27 degrees Aquarius, entrusts the magician with special methods which not only refer to mental and astral wandering in the three planes, I, E, the mental, astral and physical world, but which also facilitate travels to the other spheres. If he wishes, the magician can cause this head or his subordinates to accompany him on his mental and astral travels, in the zone girdling the earth as well as in other spheres, and by doing this he can learn about the laws and mysteries of each individual sphere. This head also informs the magician about the magic handling of these laws. Figure 352, Nigani, 28 degrees Aquarius, like Ibaran, the head just mentioned, Nigani, 2, can acquaint the magician with the secrets of the magical Quabala of the spheres and entrust him for his practical work with apartment methods concerning the magic of spheres in all three planes. To each magician who succeeds in getting into contact with this intelligence will be revealed unthought of possibilities. Figure 353, Nelian, 29 degrees Aquarius, this head's knowledge of analogy, I. E. The laws of synthetic alchemy, magic and quabala is by no means inferior to the two before named heads. This means that the magician is equally well off, if he entrusts himself to this head's guidance. Nelian helps the magician to enrich his knowledge with the help of many a method that so far has been uncone. Figure 354, Sirigilis, 30 degrees Aquarius, is a special initiator into, and at the same time custodian of, high mysteries concerning alchemy. By this head the magician is taught how to impregnate, for special purposes, the seed and blood of man in various ways. To try and succeed in getting into contact with this head, will mean from the hermetic point of view rich gains for any magician.